Hey Libra, what's going on? I'm back. I knew you knew I was coming back, right? I know you knew. Yep, I got to sage this one, baby. Mm hmm. Cause uh, the title of this video is "Why Do They All Compete with Libra?" Why? Let me introduce myself. Because I got a message. I am Niambi Shali. Welcome to my Libra channel. I'm a spiritual teacher. I read energetically, intuitively, and spiritually. I also study planetary alignment to help those that are led to my channel understand the energies that we're in. If you're under the age of 18, go ahead and back out because I do use profanity. If you are offended, easily go ahead and click out because this may not be the video for you. If you take anything from this video and you use it per your life, please like, share, and subscribe. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Hey, y'all. I ask that if you got anything from the video give an energetic donation by tapping the like button that is a really good way to plant a seed and use your intentions to manifest all right let's get into it yeah why well, they always gotta compete man. I got that in my meditation, and y'all already know, I usually do a short for the pool. I usually do minimal shuffling, but yeah, this was like hard. I'm talking about came in hard. I was like, oh, okay. So let you know how hard it came in. It's past midnight here. Okay, we're not taking all of that, but that one came out. Clear messages, spirit. Okay. All right, I'm going to take them. First one out was, oh, moon energies. Moon energies. I did a whole video earlier. I couldn't even see part of the card, but yeah, it was the emperor. So, you know, it was, you know. So, yeah. I want to put the moon card up there. That was the first card out. And that's the overall energy. Okay. What was that? Ah! Yes, 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 yes. That makes more sense. I was looking at the story like, what is that? All right. Come on now. Moon energy. Y'all already know. Moon were in uh full moon was just in Pisces. Illusion, um, secrets, manipulation, uh, yeah. Not being able to see clearly. And this is like like moon energy in Pisces. You gotta I hope you know a Pisces, so you know like what I'm kind of talking about. Um, it's like, it's the people that, the friend that talk bad about you to your crush. And then the crush come tell you. Because, like, Libra is so intuitive. Libra don't talk about people to people that will go back and say anything. Now, this is the thing about Libra. If Libra said it, Libra said it to that person's face. But Libra's not messy. Libra has a little tact. So, like, whoever I confide in is not going to go back and tell another person. But I know for, for myself, I, I know I'm talking to Libra now. But I know for myself, if I say something to this friend about anybody 
in the circle, that friend knows, I don't care what you say. Like, if you were to go back and tell that person, but see what other people do, what what Pisces energy people do, what other signs do is they'll think that they cool with another person. Like, just because they went out a couple times and they went to lunch, they went out to lunch a couple times, they think they so cool. And then they end up finding out Libra cooler than you. Because somebody come back and tell Libra, like, girl, I know you think that's your friend, but they said, see, dumb dumb, you wasn't smart enough to understand you didn't have a connection with that person. See, Libra always going to have like a connection, like this type of energy that's going on right now, like full moon in Pisces is... I always say this about Libra. Libra head be in the clouds because this card is about manipulation and secrets and mysticism and all of that stuff. But Libra head be in the clouds because Libra be doing something else. Like, I mean, like, just be doing something else. Like, not even paying attention to y'all. So, when you get that type of information, like, this the bitch that's trying to turn the boss against you. But the boss fuck with you and tell you. Like, yeah, you know, such and such had the nerve to tell me. I had a bra like that at, at, at my last gig. Yeah. She's talking about me to the boss and the boss come back and tell me. She trying to make power moves in front of the boss. Like, girl, don't get slapped up in here. Like, for real. Because even after he told me, I still like, you know, and so these energies right now is like, don't stick around for the sake of, you know, like I would still speak because I don't want nobody to feel like I don't want the other people in the room to feel like I got something against that person. So I would just still speak. But then at the end of the day, I had to tell her I slapped the fuck out you because she like kept doing little stuff that that's what people do when they don't know that Libra will slap the fuck out of them. Like, bitch, I don't give no fuck about this job. I don't care about this job. Do you think that I won't slap you? And that's what I had to tell her. I'll slap you. Justice, you came out in the reading, Libra. you got to understand justice is being served like in the earth realm. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all Libra. So here's the energies, Libra, Mercury, Mars. That's it. That's all that's over there in the astrological orbit. Everything else is retrograde. Even Mercury is retrograde. So right now Libra is in Virgo. Libra is the perfectionist. Virgo is meticulous. So guess what's about to happen in the earth realm? Yeah, Libra, beauty, Virgo, earth. Justice is being served. And so you have to be able to detach yourself from bullshit. Like previously, I would know the whole crew don't like me, but I don't give a fuck. I'll still go around. Like I would get invited Okay, so like say it's five of them, right? And one person invite me. But I know all five of them know. All five of them, all five of them didn't invite me. But I'll go anyway just to piss them all off. No, that's not these energies right now. These energies right now is don't even do nothing you used to do. If that makes sense. Change everything. Because that's what's about to happen. And I don't mean I, I wanna I wanna retract that just a little bit. It's like Keeps, you're going to have to keep some of the shadow because it's just not that lower vibration shadow. Because I told you, God, Spirit, Source be trying to see where your gang's at. Libra has walked on both sides of the tracks in most cases, unless you were sheltered. But for, um, in most cases, Libra didn't did the dog shit. Libra didn't did because th they can. 
Like, I'm, I'm air. I'm light. I'm the morning star. I mean, I know. Even when I didn't know, for real, I'm like, I know now, but I knew then. And like, in a unknowing way, if that makes sense. Like, I, I've always, I was, how do you put that? Like, I was always like, I'm the shit. Like, always. Just now, I won't do, like, now I won't slap the shit out of a person. Just for, you know what I'm saying? Like, before, oh, yeah. Now you really got to do something to me for me to do that. Like, I haven't slapped anybody in about two, three years. Because I'm just not so, I told y'all, we not just our rise, we not just our sun sign. So my rising is, is messed up. And this is, you got, now, 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 this is what I want to say. Every card that came out is a Libra, like, Libra is justice, the scales. And see, I got to go into this and tell you how. You see how her eyes are closed at the top, but they're open when she's looking in the water. Yeah. Okay. So you see how this card is when she's in the water, She's her head is being illuminated by the moon. Okay, let me give you the connection. The connection is intuition. Intuition is your heart. Is what does your heart feel? A lot of times you you feel the manipulation. You feel the bullshit. Like you can stand in a room and be like, I know these bitches be talking about me. I can tell they all get together and talk about me. So instead of doing what I used to do, which is I'll be in the room any motherfucking way because I'm finna work the room. I'm a social butterfly. I can't help that I'm going to get the finest one in the room. I can't help that dude that buying all the drinks is buying me drinks and ain't buying y'all none. I can't help that that's not my... I can't help that you like him, but he like me. Like, I can't help that. I, I mean, I'm charming. I can dress. I'm cute. I have a conversation. I'm smarter than the average bear. And, and people don't understand that. That's the reason why they always trying to compete. Like, you, baby, you don't have to. Your best bet is not to compete be yourself see if your motherfucking ass one sitting over there with the personality of a dish rag bitch you will be likable look at your personality look at your face you think a man want to be bothered with somebody that face tuned up no first thing a man say is why you looking so mean but that's what women try to do is like, I'm going to look real, real mean so somebody can say something to me. That's the dumbest fucking thing I ever heard in my life. Don't be mad at me because I know how to use my feminine wiles. I know how to use my je ne sais quoi. That's on you. That you over there thirsty. Your throat dry. Yeah. I know how to act. Yeah. Well put together. Uh-huh. Use your intuition. Like I said, don't do like I used to do. Because I don't do it. I, like, I can't tell you what to do. But I'm telling you, like, what I used to do is kind of like at, agitate. Or at, I would know that I'm aggravating this group of people, but it didn't matter. This is not the energy for for that right now. Because guess what? It took, now, it was effortless to do it, but it still took energy away from my true tribe. That's why you got to walk away, let them do what they do, 
and your ass quietly exit stage left even. Because these times is all set up for Libra. Go to any other ash. I'm not an astrologer, but go to an astrologer, a channel. Just go to an astrologer channel and just watch, just listen to what they're talking about. It's all Libra everything. There's, it's, it's amazing times. It's dreams come true. It's illusions are reality. So if you're going to be in an illusion, if you're going to be in a situation where you're in an illusion, at least let it be an illusion of riches. At least let it be an illusion of abundance. At least let it be an illusion of love. You want your partner? Think of your partner. Put them in your mind. Write it down how you want them to look because Virgo is how to. Yeah. Libra have all the thoughts in the head. You know, how, uh, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe I just might do that. Yeah. Thoughts. In the head space. Of course, as you know, your thoughts control your heart space. So, opposed to allowing all of these thoughts, allowing the illusion in a negative space, this energy is have the illusion. Don't have the illusion here. Because as you can see on this card, love the fucking deck. She's looking in the mirror and is tied up in her mind because the actual person is not tied up. Yeah. Fuck them. You see that? Do you see that? I don't play, okay? I Look, I done got cocky with the cards. <laughs> no, because when the first three came out, I'm like, wait a minute. So it was off because I know I always put an overarching energy since I first started. So I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, that don't, those three cards just didn't look right together. I, I needed an overall energy. And then when I started shuffling again, like I said, all three cards is you, Libra. Scales. Swords. But I'm asking you if you think, because that's thinking. Oh, let me put this out. Uh, this is just thinking you're, you're trapped. Thinking you don't have no friends. Thinking you, I'm telling you, the energies right now is like, get by yourself, babe. Get to yourself, babe. And tell me what you want. Hurry up. Get by yourself and tell me what you want. Get all that shit out your head and tell me what you want. Because that's the energies. I got, you know, I told y'all. Y'all know I be drawing for y'all and shit. That's the energies. And I'm going to actually do a less complex one so I can show you that this is just sun and moon up there. If we take that out, this is all that's over here. And right now, Mars is in Gemini and Venus is in Virgo. Gemini, the lover's card, you know what I'm saying? Virgo, the how-to, how do you put your hands on? Yeah. So... Right now, it's a whole bunch of dots and scribble scrabble, but I'm going to simplify it for you um, next time I get up here or the next time I want to bring it out. But yeah, it's like, don't worry about this. Get out of this. Get your mind out of that because them bitches, them females, and like for men, like it, it go on with, with men too. It's just more prevalent in women, but men, watch out for that evil eye. Yeah. 
watch out for that boy that watch it's it with men is less um it's less confrontational because women they sit up and watch you know Real Housewives of Atlanta, all the little reality shows and shit. And that bitch been a threw a drink in my face and I been a beat the fuck out the bitch. Like, I know me. Like, trying to emulate, like, what you see on TV. That's why I don't watch that kind of stuff because, and that ain't no judgment of nobody else, but I don't watch it because I know, I know if you did that in real life, like, Y'all get all excited that somebody is able to pull somebody back. Do you see my hands? Can't nobody pull me back. Can't nobody hold me. So I already know, baby, don't get, no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. I need you right here. It's like, this is, this is where God, spirit, source, just look at the last two years. If you don't think or believe, you know what I'm saying? Like you're like, well, maybe I'm kind of, if you got anything so far, like, 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 like the video, because that helps the algorithm. But yeah, it's like, it's like we have all gotten so accustomed to an illusion or not even try to figure out the real, like, you have to ask yourself the question, why are you here? Like, why, why am I here? I'm going to tell you, Libra. Libra is here to figure it all out. That's the reason why Mercury and the sun, remember I told you, Mercury is like a yo-yo to the sun. Goes back and forth. 2022 is the year it goes back four times. Back and forth. The sun is the source. Okay. Mercury known as the communicator to the gods. To get you to understand what I'm talking about, people that are born under the Mercury retrograde, like they were born as Mercury was in retrograde, have speech impediments. It is a planet of communication. Your president was born in a Mercury retrograde. He had a stuttering problem. James Earl Jones was born. He was mute until like, I don't, don't mark my words, but I think it was like until middle school or something. That That's a communication thing. You know what I'm saying? So understand that the Mercury retrograde is a real thing. And it's not about this Mercury. See, everybody want to get, and this is why I'm saying it for Libra. Is because everybody wants to get like, oh shit, it's Mercury retrograde. Uh, everything is gonna no, no, your air. It's Mercury is in retrograde in Libra. At this juncture, it's checks and balances. What you want? Oh, okay, let me go tell the guys. Yeah, it's all about perception right now. What can you perceive your life looking like in the next five years? Oh, okay. Got that out. All right. Do I want to shuffle? I, you know what? I I want I want the deck to tell me what it want to tell me. All right, spirit. Let me know what you want me to tell Libra. Y'all always get this. It's Queen of Wands. This is abracadabra. This is magic. This is taking that fire from the end of the wand and voila, it's in my hand. The whole time, every time you see wands, it's like somebody fighting themselves, fighting with other people. When the whole time is just get the one wand, just get the one wand, take all this shit. Yeah, this fiery energy. Take all this bullshit, them little bitty lights. Take that little, that little shit. That's 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 the bitch that's trying to look better than you. Take that. Transmute. That's the bitch that went and got the BBL, but you still, but the men still looking at you. Yeah. 
I had a buddy that was no longer because when I'm talking now, I'm talking about a X circle. I walked away. Why did I walk away? Because I knew intuitively a year ago to get out of there. I knew. Like, I don't know what it was, but I knew. I was like, mm-mm. I'm talking about a group of friends that I had been friends with for over 15 years. Like, uh, -uh. So, this is, like I said, I had a friend that got a BBL. And then, okay, I'm 5'10", 250. Like, there's videos where my you can see my face, and I'm actually going to go back to... Um, showing my face. I just gotta get. I'm I'm working on a whole nother setup. But her man, after getting two BBLs, after getting two surgeries, rather you went under the knife twice. Her man asked if I would be with them. So just imagine you went under the knife twice, and your man. Has to be with somebody that's a hundred pounds bigger than you. Get the wine. Fuck what people think. Get by yourself. I told you. We not dealing in the what you don't have right now because the energies is take it all away. Gradually make people uncomfortable so they can figure out, oh, the old way wasn't working no way. So there's no need to be sitting there looking at what you don't have. I love this card because opposed to she looks like she's thinking, woe is me. Because that's what the Five of Cups is. Woe is me. Nobody likes me. I don't have any friends. Oh my. Looking at what you don't have in life. Looking at the cup half empty. This is heart space. This is what you really feel. But I, what I like about this car is she took one of those cups and poured it into the earth. To me, that is an understanding. Okay. I can use one of these cups. I love that. I love that. And you see how those three cups are knocked over? But all you need is one cup. You will have one heart. Stop trying to make everybody else fit in you know don't stick around for that low vibrational shit you know like the friend that always want to know your business when you're not volunteering information like i'm not you talking go ahead and talk because that's what libra libra is community so what does libra want to do we can have a conversation libra can talk on the phone for two three hours but then what did you get done in that in that block of time? Did you did you write a chapter in your book? Did you do that paperwork for the LLC? Did you you know, and this is not to oh shit, did you, you this is not like everybody ain't meant to be an entrepreneur. But did you shit color did you just decide to do something that you really wanted to do that you have been putting your mind on? When I tell you this is like nostalgic times, this so nostalgic that I'm going to tell you this situation for about me. I wanted a hard shell taco. Like I haven't, I haven't cooked a hard shell taco at home. I don't eat fast food, so I don't eat Taco Bell or anything, but I wanted like a Taco Bell taco. So I bought, the hard shell in the box. I haven't bought that in so long because 
in Chicago, you get the authentic tacos with the um, corn tortilla shells and all of that stuff. And so, um, I would I would get that, or I learned how to make it here in Indiana because there's no good food here. But anyway, so um, yeah, I wanted like this hard shell taco. Um, what else? I wanted peanut butter cookies, and I don't even really eat sweets, but I wanted peanut butter cookies. Really, like back the ones you used to get in school. So this is like a nostalgic time, but it's like understand that we can talk and talk and talk. We can go back and forth. We can reminisce over all the old things that we did and all of that, but what is it doing? What is it keeping you stuck in a place or are you ready to move forward with the new? Because that's the energies right now. It it, it is it is new energies. If you're getting anything from the video, go ahead and like it. Libra, there is no need to get to the bottom of why y'all not talking. Like, oh, well, I see how they were acting. So I'm going to talk to such and such to see what the problem is. Nope. No. Use your intuition. Yep. It's not, this not, this is not, uh, we got to talk about the energy. And this is not tuck your tail and walk. This is walk with your head up in authority, comfortable with leaving you motherfuckers behind. Yeah, I had to make the decision. And it did not feel good. It did not feel good. But once I made the decision, it was like I couldn't, I couldn't retract that. I couldn't. I, it was, it was done. And I told the whole crew, I said, I am going to start my business. So the relationship is going to be different. And then when they would call and try to see what's going on, oh, everything's great. Everything's fine in class, talking to my mentor, blah, 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 all good shit. Because those are the same type of friends that will um, be looking for the fuck up, looking for the, the bad news, looking for scamming your shit to see Mm -mm. Nope. Them the ones that, in, in, in the best way, like I said, it's like you don't want to stick around that kind of stuff because it's like they'll talk so good that they'll get another goofy to be the send off. And that's how you will find out. It's like they wasn't big and bad enough to say what they had to say to you. So they talked and talked and talked and talked. To somebody that looked up to that goof ass, and then the goofy uh -huh, the nerve to say something to you, and then bam, it's exposed. Not knowing that, I mean, I, I and I'm saying this because I watched it plenty of times before. I'm really not. I really don't worry about it. Ha that kind of thing happening to me, but I've watched people talk another motherfucker head off about another motherfucker then this person don't even know that other person and most people aren't like like I'm wise enough to know like you talking about this person that I don't know for what so I never get into what they talking about like mm mm I, I, I got to find that person out for myself. Y'all always getting this card too. Because once you do the work, look, and it came out right up under this. This, I want you to see, I hope you can see how that came out. Justice, Queen of Wands. Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. Thoughts and Heart. And then right up under Queen of Swords is the celebration. Heart, thoughts, and heart. Like, yeah. 
I, I just, <sighs> now, I am going to, I'm going to cuss all baby boss deck and I'm going to go ahead and cut it because I, I have been talking, but the message is exactly what I wanted to say is that you don't have time to be worrying about the past. You don't have to get rid of your whole past, but the only way to change is to change. You can't like fake change. All right, baby boss deck. Give me... What you want me to tell Libra? What do you need Libra to know? You see? You see what's down here, right? What do you want Libra to know? Come on, baby boss deck. Come on, spirit. Come in and give me the message you want me to tell Libra. Oh, okay. Will of Fortune. Okay. That's amazing. Will of Fortune. And Page of Swords. So you got the opportunity. You got the chance. What is it that you want to do? You want to keep fucking off? Or you want to take that sword? You want to take that one thought and use your wisdom to pull it off. Yep. And so um, get a spiritual practice. Whatever a spiritual practice looks like for you. Mars is squaring um, Venus on the 16th. So that'll be like the touchy-feely, smoochy type of vibe. Mars and Venus is together, you know. But it's not love at first sight energy right there. It's about asking questions and and um, and learning to be quiet and let them talk. You tell like shit that don't even matter. Like your favorite color, your favorite number, shit like that. Make them think you goofy. Yeah. So, <laughs> I get up here because I love y'all. So, I will, um, I'll be back. Uh, I also wanted to say, if you'd like to donate to the channel, go ahead. Uh, I will leave that in the description box. I appreciate everyone who has already. I swear y'all make me feel so damn special. There is practically nobody on my channel that actually knows me personally because I, and, and this is, I'm going to tell you this real quick and then I'm going to go. I started this channel and I didn't tell anybody. That's the reason why I want you all to know, be quiet, be quiet when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing because until you do it, it hasn't been manifested. So, or until it shows up in your life, it hasn't been manifested. So be quiet because you're going to have those energies that's going to try to knock you off. You know, had I told somebody, oh, I'm going to start a channel and do tarot. The first thing would have been, I don't know if you can do that. Those are energies. Those are energies. That's a low vibrational energy that's, that that specifically tries to pull you off your plight. I knew I had to get up here and, and help. And that's why I picked Libra because Libra is going to get the information and share it. First, Libra is going to grab the information, check it out, see if that works for them. And then they're going to share the information. Even if you it's, it's not sharing my video, it's the way Libra talks. People listen. People call Libra to see us. Do you think I did this right? I know you and tell me the truth. So that's why I'm up here. I'm up here because I love you. And to pull you back into your power. If you got anything from the video, once again, I am so repetitive because I want to trigger the algorithm. Comment, like, subscribe. And guess what? I'll be back.